Welcome back to my revisit for Dungeon Dice Monsters. It's time to take on the Japan Rep Tournament, which I guess stands for Representative, but I think Regional would have been a better choice. And look, Mokuba's here, and Weevil, and Rex. Oh, and my Valentine. We got a lot of familiar faces here. Aw, oh, no. Mokuba got taken out by Bones. I guess he got boned hard. Huh. Didn't we already take on Miss Medusa? Huh. Yeah, yeah we did. Because that whole expelling comment, I remember. Jeez. Something for someone new, not her. And I decided to change my dice pool up a bit. We decided to park the level 4 and put in, you know, a pair of level 3s and some level 2s, you know. Because I like their, um, options on their non-summon sides. You know, the 3 movement crests there, and... Three defense, you know, that could be useful if I want to get some defense crests, and at least then I still have other options I can roll for on it. Same with this one. Don't really care for the magic crest, but movement wise, you know, it definitely surpasses penguin soldiers, so it is an option. But I guess we should get started. We finally have a field change! Oh my gosh! You can't touch the obstacle in the middle. Oh, you can't even come close to it, or it breaks your path. Oh yeah, she has anti-air units. Darn it, that's why I put Baby Dragon in my dice pool. <laughs> Just so I had something I could summon like right next to the enemy and be like, here, deal with that. Oh wait, you got no flying units? You got no anti-air units? Too bad! Game's like, middle finger to me on that point. They're like, screw you. Oh, and... And that bag of Pokemon stuff I've mentioned in the Yellow episode, if you didn't watch it, I also got... A little Agumon figure. I guess if I ever do a Digimon video, I can pop that around somewhere. Not sure where just yet. I mean, I guess I have to put it on my shoulder or something. I just don't know how that would work. Probably have to trap it in there with my um, shirt or something, maybe. Because I don't think it's going to sit on my shoulder very well. N uh, no, no, it's not flat enough. Oh, well. I can make it... I can, I can find a way to make it work, I'm sure. Okay, let's aim for a little movement here. Darn it, that's not what I wanted. I mean, it'll be helpful later, but I was hoping to get more down the field, you know? Ah, another anti-area. And now she's blocking me off. So I'm gonna have to come at her in a way that means I just can't dodge those air units there. And they up their own defenses, which just makes them even more annoying. Gotta give them credit. They're really irritating. Gosh darn it, not more movement when well, I didn't need it. It's like the game's trying to kill me. Like, I'm tired of this bad RNG, just give me what I want, dice, please! I mean, I've heard people already who tap the shoulder buttons, they'll usually give them to you, but... That's just probably, um, luck. Like I said, you can't even touch that, so we're gonna have to go here. <sighs> I figured this would be the better side they come in on. If only we can at least try and make contact from the sides, assuming she doesn't block me off from it. We'll see. Oh. I'm surprised. I figured she would have built a longer pathway jutting out, you know? But okay. Um, let's see, we'll go back around. I want you and you. Okay. Come on. Gosh darn it. Like, I just can't get summons in this match so far. Ugh. I mean, the only plus side for me so far is my opponent's been only slightly more lucky. I mean, I got all this movement and attack built up, and I just want to move downfield and, like, kick her teeth in. Okay, I'm gonna have to get to that corner over there, but I think we can do it. Okay, this will let our battle warriors easily pop these, um, snake ladies. Sorry, baby dragon. You're getting, um, benched this episode. Or at least this battle. Ah, 
past. She's really laying up in that corner. Weird. She's really weighing the field to her advantage on that side. I don't get it. Oh, whatever. Let's hopefully just get a summon this time. Thank you, game. That should work. Okay. I'm probably gonna wanna pop the, um... Snake Ladies if I don't start getting some defensive crests here. Of course, I'm not rolling the kind of die to give me defensive crests. But she hasn't gotten any attack crests yet. Where is that? Oh, Soggy the Dark Clown. Of course! She summoned Selda Kaiba's favorite gay clown. Gosh darn it. I really don't care for clowns, if you can't tell. Just hate them in general principle. Okay. Okay, let's see. We'll move you here. And bust one heart point. I don't think I have enough movement to bring you in, do I? Oh, I actually do. Crazy. Okay. Yeah, you can't move through your own monsters. Irritatingly enough. It's one of those things that bugs me with um, Ark the Lad, too. Like, you can't walk through your own troops. It's really irritating. Like, I just want to go through my own guy real quick, and they're like, no, no, can't happen. It's not allowed. Well, I suppose she'll hit up Battle Warrior for one um, life point, maybe. Nope, I guess she just gave up. She's like, darn, I can't win. That means I forfeit. I guess it doesn't really matter what we throw in there. Okay. Well, at least we got some crests out of it. I wasn't expecting to get the summon anyway. <laughs> ah, another kind of the swords, mistress. I got a ton of those, though. They're not even rare. Let's say, if Weevil loses to a no-name and Mako loses to a dog, I'll be very upset. Ah, oh, darn it, I left my dinosaur figure lying somewhere over there, and I could play Everyone Loves a Dinosaur. Darn. I just wasn't expecting him to be my next opponent. <sighs> you never know who you're going to be going up against until you know the matches are started. Darn. I should have been prepared, though. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I can take you on, Rex. Besides, I don't think there are any dinosaurs technically in this one. Just dragons, warriors, and beasts, and, um, undead. So I don't care how tough your imaginary dragons are, because they're imaginary. Sorry, dinosaurs. Jeez. Ugh. Yeah, we'll go this way for now. Maybe I'll get lucky and won't get, um, blocked this time. We'll see. Level 3 summon right out of the gate, huh? Risky maneuver. Didn't really pay off, though. Sometimes you get lucky and get a level 3 summon early. Usually it takes several turns, though. I mean, with level 1 summons, you're almost guaranteed to get one, practically, because, you know, 3 dice, you know, good odds you'll get what you want. For the most part, if you're just looking for the summon aspect. Well, sometimes even there you can get screwed. Well, I guess you can pass by it in that spot, but if you hit directly, like you can't build on it anymore. And let's see if we can continue on our way. Ah, he's bringing out Curse of Dragon first move, huh? 
That's not a dinosaur. Though if you beat him, he does give you a random die off or tie off his pool, so if he has mostly high level stuff, at least I know what I can get out of him, right? Well, let's see. <sighs> of course not. <sighs> Gosh darn it. Level 2. That's an odd pick. That's not even close to being a dinosaur. Uh, to each his own, I guess, but still. When you say you use powerful dinosaurs, I expect you to have a dinosaur in there somewhere. Or at least something that looks like a dinosaur. I mean, he's got himself a dragon and a centaur so far. Neither one really brings home the image he was going for. Oh, great. I'm gonna lose my battle warrior. <sighs> Nothing I can do about it, though. Oh, and yeah, beasts have the advantage on warriors, don't they? Shoot. Which means if he has any defense crest, he can keep that thing alive, can he? Because I think it has like 4 HP. Whatever, I just want to get close enough to attack him at the moment. Okay. Probably start pulling out the other high level summons now. Let's see, how many HP does it have? Yeah, four. So if he gets off a defense, you know, he can use his special ability. He's gonna fall me down and break me. <sighs> I'll give Rex some credit. He's more aggressive than everyone else we've fought so far. He does have that going for him. Probably should use baby dragons. Not baby dragons, the penguins. Gosh darn it. I just want to summon a... Maybe dragon over there, because Mystic Horseman can't deal with that. Then I just have to get some movement crest and I can move in for the kill. Only plus side so far is I made that warrior um, move a lot. Okay, give me some movement. Darn it, I don't want a, a penguin soldier. Ugh. All that movement, but he has no attack crest, and he just used most of it up. Darn it. Fine, I'll take it. Only just arguing with the game would be more annoying. Oh, come on. Can I just please summon Baby Dragon? What is with these matches? <sighs> Never felt like I've gotten so screwed over before. Jeez, can't make any moves. Well, can't move Crest of Dragon then. It takes a whole two crests to move that thing. Finally. Um, let's see. I'm not gonna look at a good dimension of the dice here. It's gonna take me ten to get over there. Darn. Might as well end our turn and work on making another summon then. Of oh, the kind that'll give me movement, Chris. Darn, that dragon's getting closer. Um. There we go. Come on, movement, Chris. 
Thank you, game. Well, this one's not locked up. Rex Raptor's got nothing on my baby dragon. Of course, I suppose he could summon another flying creature in that small gap we have there, maybe. Of course, that'd require me lucky enough to actually get a summon. And I'm not sure that's gonna happen. Well, maybe I should try summoning another Battle Warrior. At least I can pop that Curse of Dragon in the face and try and kill it. Will it achieve anything? No, but it'd make me feel better. Oh, come on. You're gonna put your Twin Head Thunder Dragon all the way over there? Ugh. That's just insulting, man. Not even taking me seriously. He should have put it over here. At least then it would look like he was trying to stop me. <sighs> oh, look, we got a Twin Head Thunder Dragon. Sweet! <laughs> I think it was godly in Forbidden Memories in the early game. Well, I guess Weevil's underhand attack is low and beat Mako Tsunami. Well, next time we go up against my Valentine, but I doubt she's gonna have any Harpy Ladies. Maybe she does. I can't remember if Harpy Ladies uh, dice in this game or not. We'll see, I guess. If she gets that one out, if they do exist. Till next time, then. See ya.